peeps, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sword, otherwise known as Katana Crossing, and today I am going to be building a pink sand castle. I am frustrated because as most of you know, we've been looking for this flamingo chick for far too long. And if you've been to the streams, you know I've spent so much time, blood, sweat, and tears looking for Flora. So today I decided I would build her a large, fabulous pink sandcastle to bribe her to come to the island. So Flora, if you're watching this, I this is how committed I am. Literally, this is what I was doing after stream when I couldn't find you. So as you can see, I'm gonna be using this pink sand path as the flooring of the inside of the sand castle. I will have it on the screen again if you wanna see the code and I'll also have it in the description, but I'm kind of just placing this down to see how big I wanna make it. And to be completely honest, I didn't make this sand castle as big as the first one I did on the island just because I wanted to save some space, but don't even worry, it's gonna be big enough for Flora and all her glory, so. If she, if she ever comes to the island, I will also be moving her house here, and so her house is gonna be like on the inside of this pink sand castle, and it's gonna be amazing. If she ever comes to the island, that is. So I used this pink shell arch as the entrance. I think it's really fitting. And then I'm just kind of lining the place with the pink beige castle walls. Those are the walls I decided to use for this build. I just, I really liked how this was coming along and then you can see I'm just placing down the castle towers just the usual thing I do you know when you build a castle with all these amazing 2.0 items and then you'll see that in the back I do have the medieval building sides in pink just as the background I did have to go to Reese and Cyrus's a lot to get these items customized in the colors that I wanted to but obviously worth it and then you can see I'm just terraforming so that I can place two more castle towers to give this place a little bit more dimension and I can already see it I feel like people are gonna be like oh this isn't even or they they look like they're not symmetrical I think they're symmetrical but if they're not if they're not listen I'm leaving it I'm leaving it just for you just for the complainers <laughs> And then lastly, I'm putting these flamingos inside because fun fact, flamingos thrive and live together. They live in groups called flocks. I forget what the other term is, but I think it's usually called flocks. And this is again, the code that I used for the pink sand because you'll see that I kind of put it outside of the castle leading up to it. I'm just kind of placing down the sand path, giving the outside a little bit more a little bit more color and just placing all the pink shell items I can find and yeah it's it's it was a fun time basically what I did with the outside is I tried to place all of the pink shell items I could find any pink tropical items definitely lots of flamingos the flamingo floaty items because they're iconic so yeah I also placed the decorative bottles outside because you know Flora seems like the type of gal who would have friends over drink party it up. I don't know. She just, she seems like an extrovert. She seems like she, she has a fun time. She's going to have a fun time here and she's going to want to live here. She's going to want to come here. I did use these tiny little festival lamps because I think they look perfect around here. Any like pink festival items will go so well around this build. This is pretty much it for now. It didn't take me too, too long to do this. I just ended it by placing a bunch of codes. I probably will also eventually plant down some pink lilies and things like that. Maybe more flowers, maybe some baby coconut trees. But for now, I can't really time travel because I'm trying to keep the plot open. I also think that eventually I want to build 
a seafood restaurant right next to this sandcastle specifically so that Flora can go and get shrimp. I'm gonna have to get a bunch of cooking DIYs that involve shrimp for the seafood restaurant or maybe I'll place a sushi restaurant right next to this place. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think I should do but this is pretty much it for the pink sand castle build for Flora so hopefully this will bribe her to come to the island. Hopefully in the next stream we can find her. I will be doing another villager hunting stream on Wednesday for Flora yet again so if you guys want to join it's always a fun time. All we do is talk about food and it's just always a fun chill time so if you think my videos are chill the streams are 10 times more chill so I do recommend coming to them if you you know if you can if not then I appreciate you guys watching the video this was a pretty short build but I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a big like and also make sure to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video or stream where we hopefully find Flora. Bye!